On July 14, 1997 a pyramid-shaped UFO appeared over Russia. On February 12, 2006 the same unidentified flying object appeared over Mexico City. The same pyramid-shaped UFO over Russia and Mexico City. In July 1997, an unidentified pyramidal flying object appeared in the sky of Russia, and it appears that it is a non-metallic object, it state as it's some kind of pale light in the sky, and it appears that there is something like a propulsion device under the UFO, which creates a halo, that like the exhaust halo emitted by vehicles which works by petroleum derivatives. This aura indicates the energy emitted by the unidentified flying object, which is mostly energy used for propulsion. Some viewers commented that as long as there is an engine under the unidentified flying object, this is evidence that it is a technology belonging to the planet Earth, which may be a limited or secret military technology. But researchers on the subject of unidentified flying objects had another opinion, that such engines are used by some unidentified flying objects that are from outside the planet, as they put it, in order to propulsion and so that it can escape from Earth's gravity. The researchers mentioned here the most of unidentified flying objects do not contain any engines, do not emit any sound, and do not emit any exhaust. Edgar A. Fouché had previously worked in Area 51 and used to start work before sunrise and return after dark for 10 consecutive days. He said he had worked on a top-secret project to develop propulsion systems for warplanes that operate with highly advanced engines, that based on plasma acceleration, that does not produce no exhaust and does not make any sounds, but it was also mentioned that the development was based on triangular vehicles, not pyramidal. Is this unidentified flying object one of these secret projects? When the unidentified flying object appeared in the sky for the first time, it was a faint light in the sky, and the intensity of the light gradually increased until this pyramid object appeared in the sky from nothing. After a short period of time, the unidentified flying object turned into an irregular mass of light. This was before the mass of light gradually diminished and disappeared in the sky. This makes the assumption that it is one of the secret projects of advanced warplanes illogical, as warplanes, no matter how advanced they are, will not appear from nothing and will not shrink in the sky until they disappear. And if we assume that it is indeed a secret Russian military technology, why did it appear nine years later in Mexico City? On February 21, 2006, the same UFO appeared in the same way as it had appeared in Russia, but this time in Mexico City. This time it clearly shows that there is an engine of some kind emitting a lot of energy under the UFO. If it was a secret Russian technology, its entry into the airspace of Mexico City would be very risky. Where the defense forces must confront such an unidentified flying object that is not authorized to enter the country's airspace. This did not happen, as none of the eyewitnesses reported any activity of military aircraft or any attempt to attack or shoot down the unidentified flying object. It might just be some kind of balloon. It may be so, especially with a propulsion system that appears to be on fire under the unidentified flying object, very similar to the propulsion systems used in the balloon, but how will the balloon appear in the sky from nothing? and it turns into a block of light completely before it disappears in the sky. Even if we assume that the balloon was burnt, the combustion process will be clear and there must be a few burnt parts left to return to the surface of the earth, and this did not happen. It could be Chinese lanterns. Yes, they may resemble Chinese lanterns, especially since there are many different shapes of Chinese lanterns and the payment system is similar, but the same question remains, how do Chinese lanterns appear from nothing and then turn into a block of light and disappear? They may be secret military vehicles that use advanced stealth technology. Indeed, we have technology that helps advanced military aircraft to hide, but helps them to hide from radar devices and not hide in the sky or hide from the naked eye. In December 2018, a huge pyramidal UFO appeared above the Pentagon, hidden in the night sky. Interpretations differed, as one of the interpretations was that it was just a reflection of light on the clouds in the sky, which created this effect, and its evidence was that it did not stay for a long time before it disappeared. 
Others suggested that the triangular object was evidence of a top-secret, 3D, US military experiment. Online viewers of the footage wondered if this sighting was evidence of a government cover-up of contact with extraterrestrials. When the unidentified flying object appeared above the Pentagon for the first time. It was a small red light in the sky, which quickly turned into a small pyramid shape, and then gradually increased the size of this unidentified flying object until it reached the size shown in the footage. The size of the unidentified flying object is huge, compared to the size of the buildings that appears under it, in the footage. The unidentified flying object was so pale and hidden in the night sky, that it is difficult to notice in the dark sky, but fortunately some people noticed it and recorded these wonderful shots. The unidentified flying object disappeared in the sky in the same way it appeared, gradually shrinking in size until it completely disappeared in the night sky. Does the payment method used by these UFOs remind you of something we've seen before? In fact, yes, this is very similar to the unidentified flying objects that have been seen in Google Maps more than once. On September 2012, two mysterious and identical UFOs almost 1,000 miles apart have been observed on Google Maps, raising questions as to what they are and how they were photographed there in the first place. On 2014 according to mainstream media reports, a person has reportedly sighted an unidentified flying object, UFO. The UFO was found on Google Earth in the Trout Creek, Montana area. The images from Google Earth were submitted to UFO sightings daily. On 2017 as reported by such journalistic paragons as The Mirror and shared on Facebook, Scott Waring found what he claims is a flying saucer with an UFO, head sticking out in the sky of a street view panorama in Trout Creek, Montana. What I wanted to point out here is that such unidentified flying objects may have an advanced system that make it hide from the public eye in the sky. In fact, this technology already exists, and it has been proven by Jamie Mousen, a journalist and ufologist before. He confirmed that, such technology may be used by unidentified flying objects to hide from people's eyes, and he used a video filmed by a person using a pair of cameras, one of which is normal and the other uses infrared imaging technology. While photographing the sky, the normal camera did not capture anything in the sky, while the strange infrared camera caught an unknown flying object in the sky. Also, these unidentified flying objects are very similar to the unidentified flying objects that were photographed by one of the pilots, and the Pentagon confirmed that the video footage is real and shows a swarm of unidentified flying objects, which appears to show several unidentified flying triangles flashing in the clouds off the coast of San Diego. The brief video was shot through a night vision camera in July of 2019, Corbell says. The USS Russell observed and recorded multiple pyramid-shaped craft, he wrote. The video shows a distinctly triangle-shaped object moving through the clouds above the warship. The object joins two other, fainter triangles in the sky before the video ends.